Hi, I'm Shaka Hislop and you're here at Extra Time TV. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Extra Time TV. This is Andres Sokval and what a month of football we had. We had the Women's World Cup, the Africans Nations Cup, the Gold Cup and the Copa America. And speaking of the Copa America, we actually had a representative from our country, which is Trinidad and Tobago, Javon Charles, aka Slick, reach the quarterfinals of the Copa America. What do, you, what do I mean by this? It means that one of our guys, he's actually an esports athlete who plays in tournaments on a regular basis throughout the year. And there was a tournament in South America, the FIFA version for you gamers out there. And him, among others, made it to the quarterfinals. So we decided to head down to the South Haven Mall in Davie, Trinidad and Tobago to check out the football planet and also chat with Javon Charles aka Slick. Let's hear what the man had to say. Slick, tell us about how this Copa America experience was for you. Um, basically for me, it wasn't nerve-wracking mm -hmm. because um, I played like two years before. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just uh, getting the exposure mm -hmm. and playing Trinidad out there. Yeah. Um, it was a good, it was a good tournament. Okay, because you know, uh, I know there was yourself, uh, a couple other representatives, Lau um, and uh, Bloody, if I'm not mistaken. Alex. Okay, links. Here, yeah, see the correct names. Check them out online. Follow them. I'll put links for everybody. So, in terms of the, the it's, it's a regional tournament. This is not your first one. Everybody speaks about the real Copa America and how it went. In terms of preparation for, uh, or should I say, a virtual tournament? You know, how does one prepare for something like that? Um, for me, um, push ups. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, basically, um, friendlies mm -hmm. against well, my friends, um, Lao, mm -hmm. well, the top players. Mm -hmm. So you would prepare for certain things because the South American style mm -hmm. of play it's different to us. Yeah. So they will more play a possession based mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Uh, pretty slow. Mm -hmm. So for us we like flair and so we just adapt mm -hmm. and, um, and more or less take the chances yep. when they come. But one of the things you know obviously a lot of people don't know this. We know fans of Toronto Tobago football, which is where we are from these guys are representing our country and playing as representatives of Trinidad and Tobago and in a lot of ways they are, you know, outperforming a lot of other sports. Uh, how far did uh, you get in this particular tournament? For me, I got to the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Yeah. Um, I played a guy from Chile. Mm -hmm. He's a pro over there. Yeah. So, um, basically I lost 5-2, um, I mm -hmm. believe. It's two legs. Okay. So, yeah. So the format is, you know, like because I saw the group stages. Yeah. Is it? Uh, I'm seeing. I think it was home and uh, two games. Sorry. Two games. I'm um, home and away, mm -hmm. and then they take the top two from each group, and they go on there from round of 16. Go on. Okay, so you know that's a very impressive achievement that people should not take lightly. The quarterfinals of any major tournament, but I think that's a very honourable and respectable achievement. So we're going to move things along. Uh, you know, a lot of people. If you want to find out more about this. You can message us directly. We'll have information uh, in the description below. Uh, if you want to follow Slick, the man, the champ, we'll also put his description, uh, his, uh, his handle in the description below. So in case you're wondering, we're at the South Haven Mall in Davie, Trinidad and Tobago at Football Planet, the latest merchandising store in Trinidad and Tobago for football fans such as myself. And I know Slick is clearly a fan of uh, this team in red, Arsenal. Um, I already bought mines, my Lotaro, Martinez, Inter Milan. Come down, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I will put the links in the description below. We'll be having shows with the FIFA specials. We told you all about this with the Neymar 5 guys. Plus, Slick and maybe Kenwin Jones will appear. He challenged me and he keeps ducking the challenge. So we're going to have to make sure that that happens. So be sure to check them out and purchase your favorite team right here. And also, when you like and subscribe and ask questions, you'll be able to get discounts, prizes, and maybe a complimentary t-shirt or a hat or a game. We'll see, we'll have to decide. So be sure to comment in the comment section below. Okay, so stick around, we'll be back after the break. You must think first before you move. Folks, we're back and we're going to speak about FIFA 19, of course. You know, we have 
a FIFA guy, so you are definitely the ideal person to ask. So recently, uh, it was reported that uh, Juventus will not be in FIFA 20. Uh, it's going to be, uh, there's a licensing issue and it will be in Pro Evolution Soccer. And the name they're going to use, and forgive my butchering of the pronunciation, uh, Piemonte Calcio. For our Italian friends, you could tell me if I did a poor job. Comment in the comment section below. Uh, so what are your thoughts? You know, you, you and I have been playing FIFA a long time now. Um, a lot of people have been actually complaining about this FIFA for various reasons. And um, some people are saying that the jump from Juventus going to Pro Evolution Soccer may affect the sales for FIFA 20. What do you think about that? Um, to be honest with you, I don't think so because FIFA has their fanboys. Mm -hmm. So regardless, mm -hmm. they will still sell now because this latest FIFA 19 mm -hmm. was probably, in terms of gameplay, mm -hmm. the worst yeah. I've ever played. Mm -hmm. And it probably sold the most. Mm -hmm. So I think regardless, it will still have sales. Yeah, because uh, many people, I, I did a, a preview, every year I do a preview on the games. Next, this year we could probably do it with uh, Slick as well. Where at the beginning, um, I noticed there's a trend with after certain updates that, you know, the, the gameplay tends to degenerate. But this one seems to have a lot of commercial appeal for the general audience. But the true FIFA hardcore gamers seem to be not happy, including myself. There's lots of issues I have with the physics and so on that drives me crazy. And yet, the sales are at an all-time high. You keep seeing people saying they're going to boycott this game, boycott FIFA 20, and they're not going to do it. This time next year, they're going to buy it. So you're thinking that this, this jump with Cristiano Ronaldo is not enough to affect FIFA sales? No, I don't think so. Okay, because uh, just a little quick trivia for you guys out there. Juventus is not the only team that uh, is... Uh, that can't be used in FIFA 9, well, FIFA 20. There's another team. Comment in the comment section below and let me see if you could figure it out. And the winner automatically qualifies for a chance to win a copy of FIFA 20 when it comes out and also FIFA 19 while it's still around. <laughs> so you get a bonus. So let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to hashtag EXTV and also hashtag Football Planet 868 because they are the wonderful people that are accommodating us today with their cool store with all their merchandise, as you can see. And not, you know, uh, plugging. Just, you know, I don't like people who plug things, but that's what I'm doing. So, moving along. You are, a, a lot of people don't know this, and there's a stereotype associated with gamers. Yeah. That, you know, gamers are these guys that don't go outdoors. They stay on their couches. And there's some partial truth to that, I won't lie. But I think the gaming arena has changed. In particular, FIFA has changed that stereotype. You know, slick plays cricket. And I, well, I don't mean recreational, casual cricket with the boys. I'm speaking about proper cricket. Uh, you know, what do you think about the, the stereotype of gamers being, you know, couch potatoes and you being a guy, you know, you follow Arsenal, you play cricket. What do you think about the, the current image? Is it still there or is it being changed by the public? Um, in terms of the stereotype, mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's the same because now we're seeing um, guys from all over. Mm -hmm. um, they don't really dress like a certain way. Mm -hmm. And they come from all walks of life. Huh? Yeah. So I don't think it's the same. Yeah, because you could see it, you know, like uh, a lot of pro players, Leo Messi, admittedly told the public that he's a rage quitter. He gets mad and disconnects when he doesn't win. So that time you probably played somebody with Barcelona or Argentina. You never know. And they got angry and quit. It's probably Leo Messi and he says he has an online alias that nobody knows. And lots of guys play it. It's not a, a, you know, a, a niche thing anymore. It's a, it's a very global thing. Some people like it, some people don't. But tell us a little bit about your non-FIFA stuff, you know, cricket. You clearly are a passionate cricket fan. You can't be playing at that, that level of cricket and not be a fan. So tell us about your cricket and the team you play for and things like that. All right, um, basically my cricket career, I started playing as um, 11. Mm -hmm. um, I used to play at Queen's Park mm -hmm. for about 10 years. Um, I represented Trinidad at the under 19 and under 23 nice. level. Yeah. Um, I'm currently captain of my team in Mova. Mm -hmm. We play in North Zone. Yeah. We came fourth this season. Wow. So, that's basically. Yeah, you see, th this is. Imp that is impressive, by the way. Very impressive. And these, th these are lots of things that people don't know. And then this guy is representing us, you know, in the esports arena. He plays cricket and also, you know, it's a pretty well-rounded individual. It's not like, you know, uh, the, the stereotype is being broken. I also saw it with Lau, I saw it with other guys. And it's good that people know these things and, you know, what, you, what 
an asset you are to Trinidad and Tobago because it's a field that a lot of people in the mainstream media still don't understand yet. The entire world understands, but Trinidad doesn't, or Trinidad and Tobago doesn't. Yeah. We're gonna change that. So that's why we're having these discussions. So, you know, obviously, between playing cricket and doing the, the FIFA tournament and so on, how do you find time to balance these things? Um, to be honest, the FIFA comes naturally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that natural thing. Um, yeah. And I'm also, well, I hate to lose, mm. so <laughs> I hate to lose. Mm. So for me, um, adapting the time in terms of training mm -hmm. and then working also, yeah. and then playing online. I, I usually play like late in the night. Mm -hmm. like, so. so you see, you can't work, you can't play video games, and you can't play sports. It's not impossible. All those stereotypes, out the window. So we're going to speak about your team. We're in the wonderful uh, football planet. We're going to speak about, obviously, Arsenal. There's no more Wenger now, you know, Emery is the guy in charge. We're in the preseason stage now. We're going to have a lot of shows about transfers on EXCV, so look out for that with our EXCV transfer talk. So, tell us about Arsenal, what you think about, how their season's going to turn out and their, I guess, lack of transfer activity. Tell me, what do you think? Um, as an Arsenal fan, it's very frustrating no, at yeah. times. Um, I know, Inter. Currently, we're going through a transition. Mm -hmm. We have a new, uh, well, a new manager. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is his second season. Yeah. So we haven't really saw his style shown yet. Mm -hmm. But um, this transfer market, uh, maybe this one and the next one, yeah. we'll probably know what he's all about. Mm -hmm. But so far, I'm optimistic. Okay. I'm going into the season. Because I know a lot of people wanted Wenger out. You know the hashtag Wenger out. Uh, I felt sorry because I was a huge fan of Wenger, but he's gone now. As you said, Unai Emery is here. Um, I actually like Unai Emery. I like the work he, the work he did at Valencia and Sevilla and those clubs. I think he's a, a pretty, you know, sleek choice. Um, so how do you think they're going to perform in the EPL? You know, everybody's speaking about Liverpool and Manchester City and so on. Um, not much people giving thoughts to Arsenal, even Manchester United. So how do you think they're going to perform this year? Um, I'm being very realistic. Mm -hmm. We are miles behind mm -hmm. Liverpool and Man City. Yeah. But I'm just hoping for a top four finish. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'll be happy with that. Okay. So, you know, with that being said, if you all would like to play Slick, be sure to check him out. We'll put the link in the description below. You can find him online. Uh, is your PSN ID Slick or is it? Um, City Slicker mm -hmm. 97. Okay, so I have to renew my PSN membership so I can actually play him. But if you want to play him, this is one of the best guys to play. I warn you in advance, prepare for a, a very intense, intense battle. So in case you're wondering, once again, we're in South Trinidad, DB to be specific at the Football Planet, where all the merchandise is available for you guys. I already got my Lotaro Martinez from Inter Milan, and trust me, that's not a very easy jersey to find. And I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Slick is enjoying himself here. He naturally gravitated towards a particular team. It makes sense, you know, Arsenal fan. So, you know, for you guys and gals out there who are interested in getting merchandise, this is the place to go. I'll put a link in the description below. You can find us on Instagram. You can find them on Instagram. And also be sure to like and subscribe and also put questions, suggestions and comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to hashtag EXTV and also Football Planet 868 because when you do that, you automatically qualify for a chance to win a copy of FIFA 19 and also FIFA 20 when it comes out and also discounts and maybe a free jersey from the football planet. So we're going to take a few messages and we'll be back in a moment. And there you have it folks, from the man Javon, aka Slick, one of the FIFA champs of Trinidad and Tobago, telling us about his Copa America experiences. We'd like to thank Football Planet for accommodating us and be sure to check them out on Instagram and we'll be doing many shows with them in the upcoming weeks. So once again, thank you and remember, look both ways before crossing the street. I hope you all enjoyed that episode. Be sure to like and subscribe because if you don't, a baby puppy cries. Aww.